Okay, it's time for Morning Manna. I'm so thankful and grateful to be with you on this morning. What a wonderful morning it is. Let me get so you can see me. There we go. There we go. Hey, it's a lot better. And uh, it's time for the text talk and the takeaway. This morning, this morning, you know what? I found when you're traveling, you always got to know that how do you find someone to help you in the case of an emergency? What do you always do in the case of an emergency? You always call 911. You call 911. And this morning, it's all about calling 911. Good morning, Joya. How are you? This morning, good morning, Thelma. How are you? Good morning, Angela. How are you? You know what? Have you ever gotten in trouble? You ever had to call 911? You know, this morning, I'm going to talk about calling 911. Calling 911. And I uh, hope you guys had a great Mother's Day on yesterday. Uh, what did you do on Mother's Day? Did you get the gift you wanted? Did you get the present you wanted? Let me know. Put it in the chat area. Put it in the chat area. And then I uh, just want to share that with somebody. Good morning, Nikki. How are you on this morning? What an excellent morning it is. Going to talk about this morning, 911. Good morning, Brenda. How are you on this morning? Uh, good morning, Diane. How are you on this morning? Good morning, Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. I got that bracelet. Man, it was sharp. It made my fit pop. Thank you so much for that. Uh, got to have to wear that again just so I can wear that particular bracelet. Thank you again for that. So, look, this morning is all about 911. You ever been where you had to call 911? Well, what's up, Newt? I see you, Newt. And uh, this morning, let's deal with the text to talk and the takeaway. Five minutes or less. And it's really all about 911. 911. The text is Psalms 91 and 1. <laughs> Should have known. Psalms 91 and 1. And in Psalms 91 and 1, here is David talking about, wow, how do I make it in times of trouble? How do I make it when it's difficult? And in this text, and I like to call it the 911 of Psalms, it opens with this. He who dwells in the shadow of the Almighty, yep, the shelter of the Most High, will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. There are times when you really have to call 911, when you're in, can't see your way out. The talk about this is this. The first thing that I see in Psalms 91 is this. He says this about it. He says, he is my refuge. I know that God is my refuge. No matter what, God is always going to be there for me. In verse 2, he's going to be there for you, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with. And uh, you can just reach out and say, look, Lord, I need some refuge. I need you to cover me in this moment. That's what he does. The second thing I want to share with you is this. He'll deliver you. What's the difference between a refuge and deliverance? Well, a refuge is when I'm hiding, when I need somebody to cover me. Deliverance is when I'm trying to get about my life. And the situation is such that I need to be delivered from what I find myself in. I have to be delivered from what I find myself in because he is not only my refuge, he's my deliverer. And then the thing that I love the most is found in verse 14. God knows my name. He knows my name. He knows your name. He knows your name. And in your darkest, dankest, deepest situation, God knows your name. And I like that because when you're going through and you call 911, they want to know this, they want to know that. God just says, I already know your name. I got you. I got you. So when you're in a difficult situation, when you can't make it, here's your takeaway. Dial Psalms 91 and 1. It's the 911. 
and every time, he'll take care of you. The Lord be with you today, his face shine upon you, give you peace. Share this man, if it blesses you, bless somebody else, don't keep it to yourself. And I'll see you tomorrow morning, more morning man. God bless you.